they weren't so pathetic anymore. I think some of them will be shipped this week. You need some help? Okay, Sunday, January 15th. Very foggy. So, uh, yeah, we got some bit of hauling to do. We bought a uh, gravity wagon, uh, so now we want to fill it with barley. Well, a couple hours, maybe three hours, depending on how this clears. We'll see. We'll have to do chores. So, just looking at the state of the bales out in the pasture. By the way, it's just been so mild here. I'm probably going to jinx it, jinx it now, but daytime lows are don't get below minus 10. So it's, oh man, unbelievable for January. So we put a couple new bales in the other day, about three days ago, I suppose. But what I'm doing is coming out here to previous bales and spreading out what they're leaving. So they've come out. They're not getting barley at the moment. They're getting the hay. They're getting lick tubs, 70% TDN lick tubs. This is to avoid them getting too heavy in early pregnancy. Yeah, that's what I'm doing this morning in the lovely fog. Mm. Just on the lookout for uh, extra bungees because this gravity wagon, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, needs a top. In the winter, the snow rain is not a biggie, but come spring, and we hope there's some of this left by spring, the rain will be a problem. So, hello, you guys. Did you like your barley this morning? Yeah, did you like your barley? I think some of them will be shipped this week, which is mixed feelings. You, uh, care for them, make sure they're feeling good and happy and not mistreated and all that. And you like seeing them jump around and feeling feeling good. And then you got to ship them because they're not breeding stock. That's the work. Isn't that right? Yes, it is. So the ewe lambs, the bigger ones, replacements, are getting barley, whereas the ewes don't because the replacements aren't really quite fully grown yet. So they need that little bit of extra nutrition <laughs> to help them grow. Who's chewing on my coveralls, huh? Hey, are you chewing on my coveralls? Hello, girls. Hello, gorgeous. Who's a big girl? Huh? Huh? Once they reach about 100 pounds, you kind of cut back quite a bit. It's just a little bit of barley a day. And because uh, they'll get fat, they'll get overweight. Ewe lambs no, don't necessarily have multiples. So what happens is you're feeding a big single you feed and get a big single lamb and the poor things <sighs> anyway try to keep your ewe lambs replacements not too fat Our 
gravity wagon full of barley. That was an experience. You need some help. So this carries an astonishing 2.4 tons of barley. That's uh, 110 bushels. So that's enough to keep us going for most of this year. So we put some tarps over the top. We are going to make something a little bit more structured to make it like an A-frame or something. And then uh, all we might consider putting it inside another building in the in the spring when there's more rain and storms and things. Anyway, for now, here it is. It's uh, it should be okay like this for now. So the barley comes out here. You just open that hatch. Out it comes. Kind of, it's great. It's, I mean, it's brilliant. Anyway, that's our new addition to the farm, and it's um, yeah, been a long time coming. So Thursday, uh, we've hauled some lambs. The pathetics. They weren't so pathetic anymore, so they had to go, and that's okay. That's what has to be done. So now we've got just our ewe lambs left, our replacements, who are looking really good. And yeah, it's only minus seven today. It's been oh, so warm here. I'm not letting the weather hear me. It's been so warm here for January and calm. <sighs> it's great making videos. So yeah, that's where we're at, I'm on top of a snow pile, which is kind of hard to see. The light is just so flat. Uh, yeah, so tooth pulled yesterday, so I'm gonna be feeling better. What a week. Anyway, onwards and upwards.